hello everyone welcome back to another video from today we are going to start a new project and that is restaurant management system for the design we will use html and css and for the backend or server side we will use php and for the database we will use mysql okay so in this video uh, i will show you how you can actually install jamp because we need to install the jamp here you can see i've installed jamp so this is the jamp interface you can see here you can see we have apache so this is the server name and we need to uh, add or install a server in our pc to run php code right that's why we need apache so the apache helps us to create a localhost server for the pc and mysql here you can see mysql so it will actually help us to create database okay so let me show you how you can actually install gem just go to the browser and type gem Here you can see the first link and here you can see we have download here you can just go to the first link and here you can see we have three option gem for windows linux and apple os right so you can see now i am in windows so i can actually download this one gem okay so you just have to click on gem download and it will actually start downloading or let's say you don't want to download from here so what you can do you can search jump you can click here download and you will find three version the latest the previous one and uh, so here you can see all the three version right so i prefer all time the uh, you know the middle one so this is not necessary actually you can actually download the latest version and most of the time people actually download the latest version right so you can actually click on this download button and it will start downloading so here you can see your download will start shortly and now it will actually start downloading okay so you can see it start downloading i have already downloaded and installed it you just have to download it and you just have to install it after uh, completing the installation you just have to give the path so you can see i have installed it and uh, i have set the path for the you know installation uh, drive is c drive and here you can see i have a folder so if you download it in any drive you will get a folder like this jump you just have to double click on it so you just have to click on jump or double click and you can see uh, we have a lot of folder here we just have to go to the st docs because we are actually working with here i mean st docs so if any uh, project actually want to create you have to uh, keep it inside st docs otherwise actually you cannot run it so here you can see i have php tutorial project online shop project news project right so if you need to create a new project you just have to create a new folder and our uh, project name is restaurant management system right r-e-s-t-a-u-r-a-n-t-s restaurants or restaurant okay so this is the project name and we have to uh, you know do everything inside this project so let's say i want to uh, run this project uh, in the local host server so first of all i have to go to the control panel jam control panel and here i have to start apache and you can see uh, it's getting yellow and uh, now is uh, you know kind of green right okay so here you can see we have a port here now uh, it means our apache server is running and here you can see it's running also so yeah we can go to the browser and we can search here localhost slash the project name okay so this is the server name localhost and then you have to just type here the project name and that is restaurant okay restaurant and here you can see this is our project and we are in parent directory right uh, restaurant so you, you can see i have different project right now let's say i want to open this project in a code editor so here you can see i have visual studio code i have sublime text and atom so i love to you know work with sublime text and atom so i will actually do this in sublime text so you just have to open uh, the folder here in the sublime text okay so it will actually be easy for you uh, so let me just drag and drop this project here 
so we have added the project here right and now let's say want to create a test file okay and the file will be index.php every single php file will be uh, uh, i mean will uh, contain the dot php extension right okay so i will save it control s and yes uh, i will save it so now my file name is index.php and here i will say that i want to echo something so i will say php script like this and inside it i will say echo i'll say this is index space now let's go to the browser and refresh here now you can see uh, our page has a file and this is index page okay and you can see uh, I, I have create index.php and uh, here you can see there is no files uh, I mean such a file right because by default uh, index index.php file is a default page for the you know project okay so yeah we, do, we don't have to actually mention the path name let's say I have another file and it is home.php and i will say here that this is home if i refresh here you can see i haven't actually get the page right so if i want to access it so i have to say here home.php and now you can see i can access but for index.php you don't have to mention here because the index space is the default space for the project so let me just delete it because i don't need this okay so this is the index space right okay so now uh, i have shown you how to install jump right uh not really i haven't shown you uh how you can actually install jump i assume that you can install jump and uh, let's say i want to uh, start here my sql also so i will click on start and here you can see it's also started right now uh, you just go to the browser and you just have to say localhost sorry localhost slash php my admin you just have to type it and here you can see that it's loading right okay wait for some times okay so now you can see php my admin panel right and here you can see we have bunch of different database right so uh, we will actually show you how you can actually create a database so here we have to create database right if we need to work with server site right we need to create database right we need to work with database okay so we'll do this in the next video okay so that's it for today's video see you in the next video till then goodbye